Hello and welcome to Tapping for the Root Chakra and Money Manifestation. So excited to walk you through this training. Uh, it's a training that I do a couple of times every week. Um, and it's one that has really helped me to clear out a lot of my old belief patterns and behaviors around money so that I can be living the most abundant life and vibrant life that I am today and that I want to be living. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's talk about tapping for a minute. So within our bodies, and if you study Chinese medicine, you will definitely hear about the meridian systems. And so the meridian systems are these channels of energy that are constantly flowing through us that connect at different points. So an energy system comes down through our crown, out through our arms, and then comes through our fingertips. So when we connect our fingers together, we're connecting those meridian points. And if you do that, you can kind of feel like a little electroshock of energy connection, right? So we have all of those different types, like they come through the bottom of our feet, up and down our legs, through our torso, our throat, our head, they are all around us and within us. And what happens in these meridian systems is that they hold on to our patterns, our beliefs, our thoughts. And so the thoughts we have are constantly being rotated through our body. And so with the practice of tapping, we're accessing different points and I'll, I'll walk us through this, but we access different points to access those meridian systems so that we can go in, bring those old thought patterns we want to release to the surface, and at the same time, put in new thoughts and new beliefs. And that allows us to start shifting and changing from a deep inner level and an energetic level. So with this practice, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the different areas that we're going to tap on and how we're going to do it. At the same time, I'll be repeating different statements and mantras that you will then repeat out loud as you're going through the process. And what this is going to do is going to allow you to access those different points and, and be able to do this practice as often as you want. So for me in my practice, I do this usually uh, once or twice a week for multiple time, multiple rounds at a time. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a little grounding and centering, and we're gonna figure out exactly kind of where you're at in your money story on a scale of one to 10, one being that it's okay, the sensation isn't really there, like we all have a money story, but it's not that um, expressive right now, or a 10, which is like money is not good, it's it's really bad, I, it doesn't feel good in my body, I don't feel good when I think about it, I actually probably, probably try to avoid it more than I actually engage with it. And if you're at that level, the intention of this practice is to get you to come down to a one. So if you're at a 10, you might do five rounds of this, taking a little two to three minute break at a time until you get to that feeling of one. If you're at a five or a six, maybe you do it two or three times. If you're at a one or a two, maybe you only have to do it once and you're like, all right, I'm reset and I'm feeling good. And so this is a type of practice that you want to be doing consistently because the thoughts and patterns and beliefs Think about however old you are, that's how long those thoughts and patterns and beliefs have been within you. It takes time to get them out, to start doing differently, to bring new opportunities in where that they're, you're going to be presented with new opportunities, right? So um, that's the invitation that I'm going to walk you through it now. We're going to figure out where you are and then you pause and reset this video after a couple of minutes and you just keep moving through it until you get yourself to that place of a zero to one or two, okay? All right, so I will start by walking us through the tapping uh, areas where we're gonna start. So to start, we're gonna do a karate chop. So you're gonna take the right hand over the left and you're gonna like kind of right where this knuckle is, you're just gonna start karate chopping. And you can practice now with me and maybe you start feeling something and that's great, that's the access point. So that's gonna be our first. And then I'm gonna, ex I'm gonna say, okay, we're moving to the top of the head, crown of the head. And then we're gonna move up here. And there's a couple different ways. You can do pitter patter where you're doing alternate hands. Some people like to use the tips of the fingers and go right on top. Some people like to use the pads of their hands. That's totally up to you. I've been taught many different ways. Whatever, feel good, whatever feels good to you. From there, we're gonna to go to the forehead. And so we'll tap on the forehead. And then we'll go to the temples. And then we'll go under the eyes. Pardon my nail polish. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the top of the lip. So when you're doing the top of the lip, you want to curl your top lip under, and then you can use one or two fingers, your choice. And you're going to tap right there, right on the top of the lip. Kind of looks funny, but that's okay. And from there, we're going to go to the chin. We'll tap the chin. And from the chin, we'll go under the arm. And again, this is the right hand under the left arm. And you can, some I do it this way, so like monkey hand. Some people like to do it with this flat part, totally up to you, whatever feels good. 
And then from under there, we're gonna go to the heart. And from the heart, we're gonna go to the wrists. Okay, so those are the movements we're gonna do. And as we're doing this, I'll first take us through a grounding and centering. We'll figure out where you're at and then we'll be in the process. As we're going through the process, I will be stating different statements and mantras and things like that. And you're gonna have time to restate those out loud for yourself. And now this is a really important part. So say the words out loud because we wanna get these, these energies up and out of our bodies and our voice, our channel, our throat is a way that we get to do that. And we wanna speak it out clearly. And so you wanna make sure that you're actually saying these things out loud. Okay, all right, so let's start by going ahead and closing your eyes, bring your feet flat on the floor. You definitely wanna be sitting up nice and straight for this. Inhale as you roll your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, draw them down the back, open the heart, bring palms up to receive. And just start connecting to the, back, the breath, excuse me. Connect to the breath. Gradually allow it to deepen. You don't have to change it on purpose, but maybe you can visualize it as an orb of glowing energy moving up and down the spine and just allowing it to naturally deepen, taking you into a deeper state of relaxation and connection with yourself, with Mother Earth, feeling the connection of the feet to the floor. Drawing in a deep inhale through the nose, holding the breath at the top, letting the shoulders drop down towards either side and exhaling, letting it go with this side. And then bringing awareness to your money story, to your current money situation, maybe the, a number in your bank account, just really allowing whatever's happening in your financial life right now to come and bubble to the surface and becoming aware of what sensations arise in your body when you begin to think about this. So maybe you have a tightness in your chest or in your solar plexus, or maybe your root chakra locks up. Uh, maybe you have a sharp pain, whatever it is, just allow it to come and be the observer of that experience. And then once you can kind of gauge it, on a scale of one to 10, one being it's not that big of a deal, I don't really feel anything, or I'm very safe and comfortable, or a 10, which is this doesn't feel good, it feels really bad in my body, I feel stressed out, just allowing yourself without judgment to become the observer. It's from the space of observation that we can begin to see solution and create change. So you can allow your eyes to remain closed. I will tell you when we're moving from one part of the body to the next, or if you want, you can open your eyes. But what you want to do is make sure that you are repeating these mantras out loud in the space that you have, okay? So let's go ahead. We're gonna start with the karate chop, right hand on top of left. Money is really difficult for me. I have a really hard time managing it. But the truth is, I know I haven't been giving money the respect it deserves. I keep myself small and safe by not managing my money effectively. I know I can do better. I will do better. Moving to the crown of the head. Money is an energy that I consciously work with. I pay attention to money and money pays attention to me. I am so lucky to know the truth about money. Money is a high vibrational energy. Moving to the temples. I didn't always know this truth. And I self-sabotage myself with money. I was raised seeing my friends and family always struggling with money. It seemed really, really hard. But I know that's not my path or my truth. Moving to the bottom of the eyes. 
Me and money are high vibrational and we work together. I love money and money loves me. I am so grateful to know that I can have an easy life where money flows to me with ease and grace. Moving to the top of the lip. It doesn't always feel this way but I choose to be in a mindset of ease when it comes to money. Sometimes when I look at my bank account, I fall out of alignment with the truth about money. And I forget about the high vibration it holds. I know that this is just a number on the screen and it doesn't mean anything. I decide how much money is in my bank account. Moving to the chin. I am so proud of myself for showing up to manifest the money I want. I deserve it. And I require it to live my most vibrant life. Moving down to the heart. I am so happy, appreciative, lucky, and grateful for the money I have. When I look at my bank account now, I smile from ear to ear with joy, no matter what. Money comes so easily and is flowing to me right now. I am a wealthy woman. I choose to be a wealthy woman. I choose to have money show up in my life frequently and often. Moving to the underarm. I choose to spend my money on things that bring me joy and come from a place of love. I know I may sometimes spend too much, but that's okay. I know there's plenty more of where that is coming from. I appreciate everything I purchase with my money. Everything I purchase comes to me easily and is earned and deserved. I love, honor, appreciate, and am grateful for myself, my love, my bank account, and my money. Moving to the wrists. Money flows to me with ease and grace. I am a very wealthy woman. I choose to be a very wealthy woman. I choose to have money show up in my life frequently and often. I choose to spend my money on things that bring me joy and come from a place of love. I am so happy, appreciative, lucky, and grateful for the money I have and the money that is coming to me and my bank account. I love money and money loves me. I am so grateful to know that I can have an easy life where money flows to me with ease and grace. I am a wealthy woman. I choose to be a very, very, very wealthy woman. Letting out your breath, allowing the hands to fall, palms up on tops of the knees and the eyes to close if they aren't already. Returning to awareness of the breath. Returning to the awareness of the money story and noticing any shifts. Where would you rate it now? Perhaps it came down. Just taking a moment to reflect. And then when you're ready, opening your eyes, taking a sip of water, 
and then deciding if you want to do this again. So like I said, if you are at a 10, you want to work your way down to a one or a two so you can just go back to the beginning of the method and restart and do it again and just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you get down to that space of one, of one or two. It should only take maybe three or four rounds, but this is a practice you're going to want to incorporate into your life at least maybe once a week just to keep you in that vibration of moving through and tapping out these beliefs and instilling new beliefs. Everything is a practice, um, especially when it comes to money. Money is a practice. It's a skill that we can learn, uh, and this is the, that energetic skill that we can bring into manifesting of money. So enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions or curiosities. I'm here to support you and I'm so grateful uh, for this experience. So have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll talk to you soon.